Hi guys, here's your wellness and beauty coach. I want to talk about, you know, how to navigate after you're in separate or divorce, you know, from your ex, especially when you have been in a relationship for so long, okay? I just saw a video, uh, of one of the persons that I follow here in TikTok and I'm not gonna say name, I don't wanna make a reference, but I know she's having a hard time. And this is my message for her and other women uh, that are going through the same thing. When you are going through a marital separation, okay? And you haven't even, uh, you know, put the divorce, okay? Uh, hire an attorney. Or when you are do, during the process of divorce or after divorce, one of the best things that will help anyone is limit the contact uh, with your ex-husband. Um, if you had to get out of the house, okay, and with pretty much anything, okay, starting over, uh, the more you stay in touch with your husband, okay, and you find out that your husband is dating, uh, the more you're gonna feel stuck emotionally. Uh, if you already have your children grown up, there's no reason why you need to contact your ex or trying to continue a friendship. Trust me, that will not help you move on with your life. You need to focus in self-healing and keep going. It's so important. And the least amount of time you're in contact with your ex, trust me, you can get your material sins somewhere else. In drifting and drift store. And get your furniture new completely. Start over. It doesn't matter if the space is little or not. But trust me, he's entitled to move on. I know that you're still attached to your ex and you were hoping that this person doesn't move on, that, had, that stayed more time without dating other person, but the reality is you and him can date any, in any moment. You don't need the consent to date or he doesn't need the consent to date. You both take that decision maybe in conjunction to separate or maybe not, but it's time to cut ties, okay? Hoping this advice will help many people. Have a great day. Bye.